There are a pair of controversies today in Donald Trump's transition to the presidency. The Senate hearings are set to start tomorrow for top Trump cabinet appointees without the usual background checks being uh, completed on a number of them. Yeah, controversy number two is sparked by late word that Mr. Trump is naming his son-in-law to a top White House post. Steve Handelsman has the latest from Capitol Hill. Thanks. Good evening. JFK President Jack Kennedy hired his brother Bobby as U.S. Attorney General. Later in the 1960s, Congress banned that kind of nepotism. Now Donald Trump will test that ban. A top aide confirmed the president-elect is giving a top job to his son-in-law, hiring Jared Kushner, Ivanka's husband, as senior advisor. As Trump today hailed fiat for hiring 2,000 U.S. workers and Chinese billionaire Jack Ma for selling U.S. products in China. Yes, we had a great meeting. It's jobs. You just saw what happened with fiat. But jobs in the Trump cabinet are causing controversy. Not all the nominees who have hearings tomorrow and Wednesday have passed background checks. Many have vast holdings in stocks, and very few have experience in government. So they've not been appropriately vetted. No problem, said the Senate Republican leader. Yeah, everybody will be properly vetted, as they have been in the past. Jeff Sessions is up tomorrow, nominated for attorney general. The conservative Alabama senator was rejected for a federal judgeship in 1986 after revelations he made racist remarks. I am not a racist. Opponents today mock claims that Sessions changed his ideology. He has a different racist political ideology. Other leaders disagree. Senator Sessions is not a racist. Trump Wednesday will finally lay out his plan to avoid family conflicts of interest. All I can say is it's very simple, very easy. Or complex if his children run the Trump business. Naming Kushner as a senior advisor will spark a separate fight. Experts say federal law prohibits presidents from hiring anybody in their family, period, including in-laws, even if they don't get paid. From Capitol Hill, Steve Handelsman, Local 4.